Genesis 6 was. So very talented player is rocking the Bayonetta and the Peach. He it, it's it's crazy too because he mained Peach before Bayonetta came out in Smash 4. So right. the fact that he still he has that Peach experience actually carries over really well into this game because Peach is a very good character in this game. He's one of the few that kind of uh he, on one hand he got the worst of it in terms of transitioning from alt or uh, from Smash 4 to Ultimate in terms of characters. Bayonetta got pretty gutted overall, but on the flip side Peach mains are sitting pretty right now. They're, 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 they're enjoying this game very, very much so, I feel like, overall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Peach game, or Peach mains, they're rejoicing, man. They, yeah. they got Sakurai's <laughs> blessing. Sakurai was like, here you go. All that, all those years of getting destroyed by, like, the top. Because for the most part, Peach was always, like, usually a high tier or, like, just at the brink of top right. tier. But now Peach is in the top tier club. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see a character put on damage 0 to 64 faster than... You know, anything short of Olimar, then you get a Peach. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to see the first game here. Marth, another character that I know some some people have a little faith in him, but for the most part, Lucina kind of taking the spotlight. Uh, Marth was usually the pick in Smash 4, but um, now it seems like a lot of people agree that Lucina is the better sword character when comparing right. to Marth and Lucina. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, but, you know, I imagine every Marth player, they're just kind of feeling out for the tippers. They're just doing it for the tips. Oh, I don't think you can make it back. Directional air dodge. Oh, no! That's Dude, the worst Bale way to start. Dude, actually has one of the worst directional air dodges in the game. It's actually wild. So, Captain Zach, I'm not, I'm not too sure if that was an input error. Maybe he was trying to style or just, you know, an input error on that uh, downward ABK. Oh, but there's the down air. Okay, good damage. And now Captain Zack still off ledge here. And that's one, another thing to note, too. Bayo's up, he does not snap to the ledge while going up. So that's a very big hit in terms of recovery. And Mark doing a good job holding his own right now, even with the you know the free gift of a stock. It's uh, always important not to let that get you complacent and uh, you know let the uh, other player battle their way back into the game. Hey, okay, Captain Zack trying to get some confirm here. Gets that. The tipper back air is pretty strong, but you got to make sure to get that tipper. There's no jump here on this Marth. And the bullets, another directional air dodge. Yeah, the bullets are just going to keep covering those directional air dodges. And Captain Zack will abuse that. We'll take that first stock. And he's battling himself right back into it. 91% damage for Captain Zack. I can feel it. He can do it. He's got him off stage. This is a big opportunity. Oh, man. Oh, down the air? damage is still Ooh. going. There's no jump. There's no jump on this Marth. That's dead. That's oh, it. Oh, see you later. And just like that, Captain Zack showing that Bayonetta still has that offstage game, can still use and abuse some of these characters with not the greatest recoveries. And, uh, you know, in the blink of an eye, it was Captain Zack behind with the free gift stock, and now all of a sudden, back in the lead. And that's another thing that Bayos have been doing more. Oh, Tipper for Tilt, though, gonna come out here for Marth, but Captain Zack still trying to get this thing started. Pretty much even game now. And I, that's one thing that the Bayos have been doing a lot more. Instead of using like the hold nair, they go for the uh, holding up air. Has them off stage, and this is you know, this is kind of a golden opportunity for Aiko. Not able to really capitalize it because he's sitting behind. Oh my God! A force mess call out. Yeah, and there we go. Captain Zach just is like I thought that was still a button check, so that's why I died. And <laughs> I realized the game was on, and he just carried that momentum all the way to the victory game one. So. About a, a bumpy ride, uh, a rough start for Captain Zack, but able to battle back, take the first game. You know, just looking like an old professional. Aiko probably kicking himself, had an opportunity to be, you know, up game one. Let's see if he makes some adaptations and can really, you know, hold his own. He was showing flashes of it, especially in the second stock, kind of holding his own and keeping the damage pretty even. Yeah, and Captain Zack is just, he he was actually really known, in my opinion, like he, he was the Bayo that got a lot of smash attacks. Like him and Mistake got a lot of like forward smashes or up smashes. And that move is actually buffed in this game. Right. They don't have the item priority. So now Bayo's smash attacks are essentially swords now. That's like the one thing that Bayo got buffed about it. Everything else pretty much got gutted. Massive sword hands. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> and, and, and like they're pretty strong smash attacks as well. So Captain Zack definitely abusing that lingering disjoint and catching right. that ledge jump on that game number one but do we have a combo off the top good di from Aiko to go down there and it's just been <laughs> all captain zach so, so far oh Aiko making a little bit of run putting on quite a bit of damage unanswered good yeah. platform pressure a yeah, very clean out of shield punishes as well oh but there's a parry but the down tilt Aiko with the cross up not gonna get hit by that and, and some pretty good patience waited Ooh. oh put that spot dodge down and captain zach was all over it back here cleaned up the stock and Aiko in a little bit of trouble. He's got to come out strong in this first game. 
My impatient. I was waiting for the dolphin slash. I was like, every Marth wants his dolphin slash in that scenario right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and Captain Zack with that back air, it was just so perfectly timed because it counterplayed that spot dodge that Echo threw out and got the tipper back air as well. So really, really good stuff from Captain Zack. Stalling out his recovery and the counter still finds his mark even after all the stalling. Echo, what a play. Uh, I wonder if he's just sitting there counting the jumps like a card shark in Vegas counting cards. He said, oh, oh, you're out of resources. Let me go down and counter that bad boy. Perfect option for the perfect time, man. He's battling himself right into it. Gonna follow up. Uh, he had that read, but got a little too greedy on the spacing. Yeah, and Captain Zack, even though he's not getting a crazy amount of damage off of one Bayo combo, he's doing a really good job getting his couple hits in and then reset, reset, reset over and over again. Doing such a great job, but no tech on the Dolphin Slash. Oh, he went deep for that. He just Whoa. went down there. Dude, can you angle the Bayo smash attacks? That, yes. that looked like an angled up like <laughs> force, man. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, he saw him trying to cross him up. He tried to fall him down with it, but couldn't quite get it that far. Almost like, you know, uh, <laughs> the angles only go so far. All right, back. so Aiko now with the lead here. Yeah. Let's see what he can do with it. I mean, he's already racked on 28%. Can Captain Zack take this stock? And let's see if Aiko can even build up even more of a lead. He's off stage, trying to be evasive in recovery. Does he still have his jump? Oh, no, he burned it right there. Good neutral air off stage by Captain Zack. Clipped him out of the double jump, and Aiko not able to recover, but he's got a slight lead. Let's see if he can hold on to it and make it happen. Oh, fishing for a tipper. Yeah, that oh, was, yes. That was one of those 50 50 calls, you know. I feel like the game should have given it to him. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta go oh. back to the replay for it. Good combo coming out from Captain Zack. Can he get an offstage situation? No, Tipper back air coming out from Echo. And now we're in the range where a Tipper offstage could be it here. He's trying to line up for the back air. Oh, man, almost gets the down air to connect. Yeah, the platform getting a little bit in the way. It's anybody's game at this point. One big hit coming out from Marth, but here he goes. Captain Zack putting, in, putting him offstage. As we said, getting his hits and resetting pretty much. Sometimes, you know, we were sending to the advantage state, though. That's where you get a lot of your uh, mileage out of it. That's how Captain Zack's been able to battle his way into it. And Ego's uh, Smash DI is actually really on point here. Oh, the tipper oh, back here from center stage. Wow, Bale going to survive here, but no directional air dodge on Captain Zack. Delays and waits. Wait, the reversal. Captain Zack with the tipper back here. And what a turnaround coming out from Captain Zack. I feel bad for Ego. <laughs> he had that. He went. You know, that's a similar situation as last time where he had him set up for the counter, but he went too early. He did it too no, soon. Well, here's the thing.